say thank you to Barack Obama for bringing, it, bringing us here today. And if we think about it, let's start to think about where we were three years ago, in the fall of 2008. I bet most of us were in the same position as Ron Johnson was in. We were working hard, we were raising our families, we were being productive members of society. And then Barack Obama was elected. And you know, most of us thought, you know, we didn't vote for him, but he's just another one of those politicians, we're going to let them do what they do, and we're just going to keep working hard, raising our families, and volunteering in our communities. But I think we quickly learned after Barack Obama was inaugurated that he's just not one of those politicians. Right. If we remember, do you remember what he first did? He was only there for two months, and Barack Obama went to Europe and he apologized for our country. Barack Obama had the audacity to apologize for our compassion. You know, the United States of America is the only country in the world that willingly gives our sons and daughters to go defend freedom of people in other countries where we don't even speak the same language. And he apologized for that. You're right. So I think a lot of us here, we were still going to work, we were still raising our families, but we started to complain a little bit. And then we had the stimulus plan. And then we had the bailouts. And then we had Obamacare. And you know what? Complaining just wasn't enough. And so events just like this one started to take place all over the country. We didn't have a community organizer heading it up. We didn't have state chairmen. We had people just like all of us here who had had enough. And we wanted government to listen to us. And they weren't listening. So we organized a tea party in Oshkosh about two years ago. We asked someone from the insurance industry to speak, someone from healthcare, someone from banking. And, and I asked Ron Johnson to speak. Now, most people weren't familiar with who Ron Johnson is. But he's a vital. Um, part of the Oshkosh community. Ron was just an average guy. He wore tennis shoes and jeans to work every day. He worked hard at his business. He raised his family and he loved his wife and he's not someone you'd read about in the newspapers. Ron volunteered on a lot of boards and he was very generous to a number of organizations locally. And he didn't do this because Ron wanted to be somebody. Ron volunteered because he wanted to do something and he wanted to make a difference. And so Ron spoke at our tea party. I thought he was going to talk about how the EPA was a hindrance to his business, but instead Ron talked about so much more. Ron shared the story of his daughter and how a dedicated physician saved her life shortly after she was born. And he talked about how with socialized health care, that might not be possible in the future. And then he went on to talk about something we hadn't heard in such a long time. Ron talked about American excellence and exceptionalism. He talked about our liberties and our freedoms. He didn't talk about Republicans or Democrats. He didn't place blame. But he talked about what a privilege and an honor it was to be an American. And it felt so good to hear that again. You know, we're, we're used to hearing uh, us being lambasted by Hollywood and the press on a regular basis, but we're not used to hearing it from our elected officials. And so we're asking you today to continue to make your voices heard. Now, we made our voices heard two years ago, and now you'll see many of the state houses have changed shape, including Wisconsin. The Republicans took it over in 2010. And that was due to people like Ron Johnson and people like you here who got up and did something and went to the polls and made a difference two years ago. But as you'll hear from Ron Johnson, that's not enough. It's not over yet. We have a lot more work to do to get our, our country back. So together, we have the ability to fundamentally change the direction of our country. Two years ago, Ron Johnson never would have considered running for public office. But after he spoke at our tea party and people continued to come up and talk to him about what he said and what it meant to them, he quickly realized that we couldn't depend on our professional politicians to save our nation. It is going to require you and I and us here to step out of our comfort zones to make a difference. 
Our nation was not founded by professional politicians, and our wars were not won by bureaucrats. America was built by people just like you and me and all of us here. So in a sense, I'd like to thank Barack Obama because it's because of him that we now have Senator Ron Johnson.